Hi, my name is Bob Murdoch, and this is my family legacy. This is a Murdoch M75 hydrant. This happens to be a three quarter inch hydrant that we've manufactured for over 160 years. So what we're going to show you today is how to take this hydrant apart and service it. And you'll be amazed that three small leather washers can fix a hundred year old Murdoch hydrant. How do you service a Murdoch hydrant? We do some very, very simple things. You can call us and we'll send you a set of Murdoch washers just like this. They can be three quarter inch, they can be one inch, inch and a half, or two inch. But the same theme, same common theme for all three washers is exactly in this Murdoch washer kit. And this Murdoch washer kit contains a seat, cup, and a ring washer. The seat, cup, and a ring washer is very simple. The seat washer is held in with a screw, the cup washer goes in next, and then the ring washer follows. To take this hydrant apart, and I've already pre-loosened a few of the nuts and the bolts, but the nozzle can be taken apart with either a pair of vice grips. I prefer, a, you know, a, either an open or a, excuse me, a, a, a wrench that you would use typically would be a pipe wrench. But sometimes if it's loose enough, you can break it this way with a screwdriver. So the nozzle has to come out first. And since I re-loosened all these bolts that you see up on top, these square head bolts are very, very common. We make them square head so that your wrench fits easily. So this hydrant's now easy to take apart. Simply grab a hold of the handle and everything comes above grade. Just like this. What you see here at the bottom, of course, is the valve body, which I showed you here. And inside this valve body is the seat, the cup, and the ring washer. What you can do is take your channel locks and you can loosen this up some of the older style hydrants that you have out there, maybe some that have been in for 40 or 50 years, it will be a casting here and there'll be a slice in it. So you're going to take your screwdriver and you could break it apart the same way. Okay, just like that. So taking this valve body apart, inside here is a seat cup and ring washer. The seat washer is held in with a screw and you can take your screwdriver and pry these other washers out. Now it's important when you put the washers back in here, you must understand that you need to take your time. The seat washer goes in first, it's held in with a screw. Chances are you can probably reuse that screw that's in there. It's a, it's a round head screw, very simple. We also have those in stock if you don't have one, but don't, again, go to the hardware store and buy something that won't fit. Seat washer goes in first. The cup washer has to go down into the valve body like this. So the bevel goes down into the valve body, not pointed up. The bevel has to go down into the valve body. And then, of course, it's followed by the ring washer. Once you get those new washers in place, the brass valve packing ring that you see here, you need to snug that back up. And again, it's not important that brass meet brass because if you do that and you squish these washers, then what you're going to do is deflect the washer out into the channel here. And when you do that, it'll have a real hard time getting down around that valve stem. So make sure that when you snug it, you snug it well enough and torque it and just take it another half a turn like that. Because remember, leather swells when it gets wet. So that's another secret of a Murdoch hydrant. When the leather swells, it creates a watertight surface here so that the water goes up. And when it shuts off, the water drains down out of the valve body. And when that happens, you have an anti-freezing hydrant. When you're all done and you're complete with your repair here, and whether you had to replace the inner supply pipe, I recommend that you take a little Vaseline or petroleum jelly put it inside here and coat this. Because what you want to do is to make sure that when you've coated this, it goes down much easier over the valve stem. So we simply take this and drop it back down in place. Just the reverse of the assembly when you took it apart. Because what you need to do is make sure that the screw gets caught in the right place and drops back down. And then you're ready to do your reassembly. Now, always remember when you put things back together, righty tighty, lefty loosey, I like to make sure that I assemble everything just to make sure that it all goes together properly before I tighten everything up for good. And so, when the Murdoch hydrant is serviced, you've got a hydrant there that should last a long, long time. But it's cast iron, it's brass, and if it's been properly installed and maintained every once in a while, this hydrant will be in service for another 100 years. If you have any questions, certainly get on the website. It's www.murdochm75.com.
MFG, short for manufacturing, MurdochMFG.com. You can get a hold of me, Bob Murdoch. I'm five generations of putting these damn things together and servicing them out in the field. So don't forget to give us a call and let us know how we can help you out. Thank you very much.